Now at 5.30, music, food, and fun on the iconic 6th Street Bridge. It's a perfect midsummer venue for a festival. The famous road that connects Boyle Heights to the east and the downtown LA Arts District to the west has been the scene of mayhem. Yeah, but today it's closed to traffic and filled with revelers. One of those revelers is Chris Wolf. He joins us live from the 6th Street Bridge. He's got more on all the sights and sounds out there. Hey, Chris. Yeah, hey, Rick and Kareen and everybody. This is just incredible. Look at all of these people. As you said, food, games, arts, live music. Welcome to Bridge Fest LA 2023, celebrating this LA landmark following its rocky grand opening just a little more than a year ago in July of 2022. We are on the Boyle Heights side of the iconic 6th Street Bridge connecting downtown LA to the city's historic east side. This is a weekend long event kicking off yesterday and lasting through tomorrow. It is free, we should note, no admission fees whatsoever. Security is tight with police keeping a close watch and metal detectors and possible bag searches at the entrances. But once you're in, there is plenty to enjoy. First and foremost, the incredible views out here of the surrounding communities, including the skyline of downtown Los Angeles. It's amazing. The Los Angeles River Artists and Business Association organized the three-day festival. Today is the only day the bridge is closed to traffic and open only to visitors on foot. Today's activities started at 1 p.m. and will end at 9 p.m. People can enjoy unique shopping, food trucks, musical performances, arts and crafts, an auto show, and for the adults, a beer and cocktail garden and happy hour specials. Bridge Fest is certainly a welcome celebration of the local cultures and communities following a tumultuous grand opening of the bridge, which saw frequent law enforcement closures in the days and weeks following because of street takeovers, automotive stunts, social media stunts, and bad behavior in general with visitors climbing the arches, among other violations. But this is a new day. A lot of people tend to come to the bridge as kind of a meeting point, like different uh, car cultures and bicycle cultures and stuff, and they kind of mix together and hang out. And then even people just from the regular communities go back and forth and uh, kind of brings everybody together. It's, it's a good catalyst for that, the bridges. It certainly is. We will have much more throughout the night for now reporting live in Boyle Heights on the 6th Street Bridge. Chris Wolf, KTLA 5 News. Yeah, Wolfie, good crowd out there. It's a nice scene. Bridge Fest LA includes a lot of things, music and arts, and you can't, of course, have a festival if you don't have a wide array of food. That's right. Patrons are enjoying the sights and sounds without paying an admission fee. Yeah. And the views, while well, they are absolutely astounding, our Chris Wolf is there soaking it all up. He joins us live from Boyle Heights. Hi there, Chris. Hi, Hello, Kareen and Rick. I certainly am. And, you know, you two are missing out. I keep saying, look at all of these people. The crowds really are getting bigger every hour, practically every minute. Just an amazing scene out here. Welcome to Bridge Fest LA 2023. As you said, this is a free three day event, but today is the only day this iconic 6th Street Bridge is shut down to vehicle traffic, open only for foot traffic. Organizers say it's the best time to celebrate the arts, creativity, diversity, sustainability, and local businesses. But let's just say, take in the incredible views and have fun. The Los Angeles River Artists and Business Association organized the three-day festival. Today's activities started at 1 p.m. and will end at 9 p.m. There is something for everyone. People can enjoy unique shopping, food trucks, musical performances, arts and crafts, sports and games, an auto show, and for the adults, a beer and cocktail garden, and happy hour specials. Bridge Fest is certainly a welcome celebration of the local cultures and communities following a tumultuous grand opening of the bridge in July of 2022, with frequent law enforcement closures in the days and weeks following because of, as a lot of people will remember, street takeovers, street racing, automotive stunts, social media stunts, and bad behavior in general with visitors climbing the arches, among other violations. But 
This is a new day. A lot of people tend to come to the bridge as kind of a meeting point, like different uh, car cultures and bicycle cultures and stuff, and they kind of mix together and hang out. And then even people just from the regular communities go back and forth and uh, kind of brings everybody together. It's, it's a good catalyst for that, the bridges. Yes, it certainly is, and we will have much more coming up tonight at 10. Reporting live in Boyle Heights at BridgeFest 2023, I'm Chris Wolf, KTLA 5 News. Big crowd, too. Yeah, it looks like such a great event. Wolfie, thank you. And Kai,